Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out this new flight controller. It's a micro-sized 20x20 F3 board with a built-in OSD chip on the back here. And it's very similar to the um, Omnibus F3 board that I reviewed, the full-size 30x30 board. Um, however, this one has a built-in PDB and also a 5 volt regulator as well as the OSD chip. It uses the same uh, firmware as the Omnibus F3. It's actually called Omnibus on the uh, Betaflight configurator, so you can flash that to this board. Now this board has a lot of positives. Um, it, will, it works really well for a lot of these micro builds, with one major exception. It has to do with the mounting holes. The holes are 20 by 20 in terms of uh, spacing, but the holes themselves are an M2.5 hole versus uh, the Pico BLX has an M3 hole, and that's what most frames are using right now, are, are M3 screws and uh, standoffs. And let me show you what the difference is in, in terms of the screws. So here are the different screw sizes. The one on the right here is an M2.5 and the one on the left is an M3. It's a half a millimeter difference, but the M3 screw does not fit in that uh, hole, the mounting hole. So here I'm trying to put the M3 screw through this hole and does not fit at all. You're gonna need these M2.5 screws that will actually fit here. So um, I think the, like for example, the um, flight controller stack and PDB and the Aurora actually uses these M2.5 screws and holes. So I'm not sure why Banggood is going this route. The, the newer flight controllers on the 20 by 20 size are going to the M2.5 size. And so if you use these screws and standoffs, which you can get a, a box of these for like 300 for maybe less than 10 bucks, to mount your uh, flight controllers in, in your models, um, you're going to need some sort of a washer because I, uh, I believe that some of these uh, screws won't really hold that well or it will move around inside the frame because the hole is a half a millimeter bigger. So something to keep in mind about using this. But if you have a little bit more flexible mounting options, then this board would be not a bad choice. Now I'll go ahead and put a card up here in the corner to the Omnibus F3 um, video that actually covers the same uh, firmware and uh, Betaflight configuration. Nothing has changed there, it's the same thing. Uh, the pinouts obviously are going to be different for this board and I'll just quickly go over what they look like. The major ones here are on the left and the ones that you want to be paying attention to are the uh, video out and video in here. You got your buzzer pins over there uh, and also your receiver and LED pins here on the left. And other than that, uh, it follows basically the same um, layout as the Pico BLX. You got your uh, ESC plus and minus plus your signal in the middle here for motors one, two, three, and four. And you got your actual uh, CPU here. You got a voltage regulator there. And this board uses the same gyro as the uh, Pico BLX. It's the uh, MPU 6000, which is the one that you want. It's actually a, a better gyro than the 6500. Now the board doesn't come with any uh, mounting accessories or wires at all. It's just the board itself. So something you should be aware of if you need mounting hardware and uh, uh, cables and such that for your uh, connections to your other components in your quad, uh, you probably need to get that on your own. Um, for most people that build a lot, uh, you usually will have a lot of those lying around like I do. But if you need uh, M2.5 um, mounting hardware, I'll put a link in the description to a box of those that you can get if you need those. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to put this in at this time. I was considering putting this into the Chaser 88 to upgrade that flight controller, but I realized that the, the Chaser 88 uses uh, M3 mounting holes because there's a long screw that goes up through the bottom of the frame and at the very top where the flight controller mounts is going to be um, the screw hole and so I'll have to figure out a different way of mounting this in there if I want to upgrade that because I think that this would perform better in the Chaser 88 but if not that I'll find some of the model and I'll update you guys as to when that video will be coming out so if you guys have any questions about this flight control let me know hopefully uh, this video is informative and I will talk to you guys in the next one